What is up you guys? Today we are talking about pain. This is Sarah Zastro from the Cultivate Balance blog. We're talking about two things that make your pain tolerance worse and five things that make it better, okay? So what that means is some people are just naturally tougher. We've all seen that story about the hockey player who gets a hockey blade to the neck, gets stitched up and wants to go back in the game. And I'm thinking, holy cow, if I did that, I would be dead. There is no way I could do that. Some people's pain tolerance is really, really high. They just have a really high pain tolerance. Now there's two things that make your pain tolerance worse, okay? So they make the pain that you already have seem more severe. Those two things are lack of sleep, both lack of quality sleep and lack of duration of hours, okay? Now that's sort of a chicken or the egg thing, okay? And does pain make you have less sleep or does less sleep make you have more pain? It's kind of both. So that's a cycle. And in Conquer Your Pain program, we teach you how to break that cycle, okay? So stay tuned for more info on that. And the other thing is prolonged use of pain medicine. Now, we're not going to get into the opioid uh, debate today at all, but just know that long-term use of pain medicine actually in some people can make your pain tolerance worse. Okay. So just know that if you're thinking about going on to an opioid pain medicine, um, just maybe try some other things first, because in the long run, it's going to cause you more pain. Okay. If it's a short term thing, great. Go for it. If you need to always talk with your doctor. Like I said, we're not getting into that today. Okay. But lack of sleep and long-term pain medicine makes that pain tolerance worse. There are five things that make it better. Thank God. We all want those things that make it better, right? Number one is daily exercise. Now I know what you're thinking. We are not talking about training for a marathon or doing CrossFit. We're talking about moving your body for 30 minutes every day. That can be some light dance. It can be cleaning your house. It can be a little uh, walk, something super easy to get that blood pumping, get the good stuff in, those oxygen and that nutrients, and get the bad stuff out. Get all the carbon dioxide, um, any anything else that your body doesn't need out, all those byproducts, okay? Number two is eating an anti-inflammatory diet. Basically, if you have less inflammation in your body, you have less pain. Like we said, good stuff in, bad stuff out. Inflammation makes pain worse. So eating an anti-inflammatory diet is going to help you decrease that inflammation. Just a brief overview, some good things that you could eat are berries, nuts, and dark leafy greens, okay? Think about that spinach, that kale, different things like that. Number three, whoops, three, um, are visualizations. There's a lot of really powerful visualizations that you can do to decrease your pain, both the, the pain that you're feeling right now and also um, your perception of pain long term. So those are some really good ones. Again, we teach those in Conquer Your Pain, giving people the tools to have less pain. Number four and five sort of go together. Number four is being social, having a strong social support system, both at home with your spouse and with your family, and also having good friends that you can go out and do things with. That is really important. And having sort of a hope, a hopeful way to get out of the house and be social is really, really important. You can kind of pair this with number five, which is having a hobby, having a creative outlet. Brene Brown talks a lot about the importance of creativity and play and having a way to get everything that you're feeling out either onto paper, onto canvas, um, whatever that may be for you. Maybe you're a knitter. Maybe you are throw clay. Maybe you're a singer. Those things are really, really important. We've all heard the stories about Lady Gaga and, um, uh, other artists having a problem. They have anxiety. They have crippling panic disorder. Um, they have chronic pain. A lot of people have fibromyalgia and having a creative outlet has given them the peace and purpose they need to feel more manageable so that they feel like they can manage their life. Their pain feels manageable and the whole thing works together. Okay. So make sure that you are focusing, doing these things every single day, getting exercise 30 minutes every single day an anti-inflammatory diet. Eat those berries, those dark leafy greens. Some nuts are really good. And make sure that you're feeding your body the things it needs. Do some visualization, some meditation, different things like that. There's tons of them on our YouTube channel. Hop on over there to get those visualizations. I walk you right through what to do. 
being social, having a strong support system, and having hobbies, a creative outlet, a way to play, okay? That is all for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hop on over to micultivatebalance.com backslash tools to get those tools, okay? So um, some of them are uh, our water worksheet and our daily gratitude practice. Those are so important. And also our YouTube channel has all those visualizations. You guys have a wonderful day and we'll see you next week. Bye for now.